Today, I'm going to show you how to get Molly working in your WooCommerce webshop. The first thing I need to do is create a Molly account. To do this, I go to molly.com. Here I see Accept Online Payments Today, which is exactly what I want, so I'll just click Sign Up. I fill in some details, select Yes, and click Create Account. Now I'm in the Molly dashboard and I click Activate Account. To activate my account, I need to give Molly information about my company, such as its legal form and VAT number. Molly uses this to verify that my company is legit. I've already created an account for my demo eShop, so I'm going to skip this bit. In creating my account, I can choose from a wide variety of global and local payment methods, including credit cards, wallets, and online banking. I need to activate payment methods in my Molly account before I can use them in my WooCommerce webshop. My Molly account contains API keys that I need for the Molly plugin to work now that I've installed it. To access the keys, I click API keys in my Molly dashboard. Here I see two API keys. This, the live API key, will only be visible once Molly has approved my account, but in the meantime, I'll be using this, the test API key. What I do now is copy the test API key and go to my WordPress dashboard. To install Molly, I click Plugins, then Add New. I type Molly and press Enter. Finally, I click Install Now. Molly's installed and now I need to activate my Molly test account. To do that, I go to Installed Plugins and click Molly Settings. I scroll down to Enable Test Mode and select it. I also select Debug Log Files. Then I paste the test API key I copied from my Molly account and click Save Changes. Click here to customize the way a payment method appears in the checkout. I'm happy with the defaults, so I'm just going to leave things the way they are. To test if my Molly payments work and to see what things look like, I click Visit Store to go to my WooCommerce store. I put some chilies in my shopping cart and go to the cart. So far so good. Now I go to the checkout. I enabled a number of payment methods in my Molly account and Molly automatically makes sure they appear in my checkout. I fill in all of my details as a customer and click place order. Now I see an in-between screen that my customers won't see. Because I'm in test mode, Molly allows me to simulate various payment statuses. I set the status to Paid and click Continue. This is what my customers will see after they've successfully paid. Following payment, Molly sends a confirmation email to the address filled in by the customer. I want to be sure everything's gone well end to end, so I go to my WooCommerce orders page in WordPress to verify that the order's been placed, and it has. When my Molly account has been approved, I'll receive my live API key. All I need to go live with real customer purchases is to copy my live API key and paste it into my Molly settings in the WordPress dashboard. Don't forget to deselect Enable Test Mode as well. Otherwise, you'll be giving your products away for free. That's it.